licensed motorists are still in the running to be named Canada's worst driver. And none of them like reversing. Canada's worst drivers have learned to reverse in a long, long list of ways. We've taught them how to use their rear view mirror. We've taught them how to use their side mirrors. We started off by teaching them to look out their back window. We've even taught them how to use the monitor that's in every new vehicle these days, rigged up to their backup camera. Now, it's time to see which method they prefer. On the biggest course we have at the rehab center, that's right, it's time for the longest reverse in the world! I said the world! It's a kilometer long course that gets wider as it goes. I'll show you how it's done. I would tell you about all the nuances of this course, but there are none. It's a straight line. I'm okay on that truck, but on this, <laughs> That's crazy, but it's doable. From the very tight parked car section, the course widens out for the oil drum section. Through the arrows, wider still. Through the garbage cans, wider still. And so on for the entire challenge. And that is how you perform the longest reverse in the world. Have the nominees for Canada's worst driver learned enough to pass this basic challenge? Let's find out. Melanie came to rehab with a very specific goal. She wants to learn highway driving. When Melanie needs to use the highway at home... Oh, my God! Oh, off. She coerces her family and friends to do the driving for her. Keep your wheels straight. You can't tell which way is straight, Christina. Christina is Melanie's best friend. Are you referencing your side mirrors ever? Nope. Melanie is a single mother of four children, two of whom have special needs. Can you get your seatbelt on? Melanie's special needs kids have, on average, four to five medical appointments a week. Going to those appointments requires highway driving. You ready to go, guys? Which Melanie never does, ever. If I initially tell Melanie I cannot drive her somewhere for whatever reason, she will get angry, she'll get upset, she'll call me back multiple times trying to make up different excuses to get me there. Usually I will give in, but if I absolutely cannot, she just, she'll cancel her appointment. Next in Melanie's education. Look how far you went without hitting anything. A nice long drive on the highway. Her companion for that journey will be the unflappable Tim Danter. I really don't want to go on the highway. Melanie's oldest child often needs transport to a hospital in Halifax that is... Four or five hours away. Melanie says she wants to do that trip herself. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! He's fine, he's fine. But I'm starting to think that really, Melanie doesn't want this skill. I hate this so bad. She's completely unthankful. I really don't want to go on the highway. She verbally abuses Tim. I hate you so bad right now. One more time. And she whines constantly. Oh my god, oh my god. He's oh my fine. God, oh my god, so oh my god, make the turn. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're stopped. You've already dealt with them. Deal with the turn now. Oh my god. We will be fine. What are we doing right now? Preparing to merge, right? Mm -hmm. So step one, throw your signal on. Oh my on. god, there's a big truck. Throw your signal on. God. Step two, ease off the gas and coast. And breathe. Come to the brake and just reduce your speed. We're safe. Oh. Shoulder check. Good. 
Can we sneak in here? Cancel your signal. Oh. You're on. I really hate you right now. But are you safe? I am with you, but what I have to go do it by myself, I'm not. So we'll get off at the next exit, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Once she's off the highway, Tim wants Melanie to go right back on. Let's do it one more time together. God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my no, God. No, 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 don't worry. Listen to me. Straighten up. Put your left signal on. God. You're fine. Bring your speed up. I need to pull that. Okay. Bring your speed up. Shoulder check. Have a look. Good. Look okay? Yeah. Perfect. Keep your speed up. Oh. Did you cancel your signal? No, no, no. There you go. Now you did. And now she's exiting safely. Still hate me? Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. Ashley is also terrified of highway driving. <laughs> but unlike Melody, Ashley often forces herself to drive on the highway. There you go. I think she's finally got it. She's looked. OK, why are you looking forward? You're still going in reverse, but yet looking forward. Ashley was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Jillian, who incidentally was herself named Canada's worst driver back in season 11. Oh my god, how far back is this thing? Ashley lives just outside St. John's. Which means to get to work, she has to take the highway. Oh, 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 no, oh. No, 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 no. Can you call him? I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? The cars are coming, the cars are coming. What do I do? Do I go? Okay, okay, okay. can you get over there? Okay. No, I just did. Oh my god. Back rehab center. Ashley almost hits highway speed in reverse. Oh, 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 okay, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. What are you looking forward and driving backwards for? Stop doing that. Next, Ashley will go highway driving with Tim. And that scares the hell out of her. <laughs> Get that speed up. We're, we're on our runway, man. We got to get and match our speed. Throw your signal on. OK. Now, there's the, the tanker truck there, right? Yeah. I'm thinking we're going to probably slip it behind it at some point. Keep on the gas, though. I want on the gas. So check your mirrors. Shoulder check. Take your time. Don't rush. You got all the time in the world. Cancel your signal. Excellent. Now, how are you feeling? Better. Yeah, OK. Now, I want to try a left lane change. <laughs> when we come back, Whoop. the rest of Canada's worst drivers do the longest reverse in the world. And Shane hits the highway. Do you know what following distance is and what it should be? Car and a half? No. Two cars? No. Three cars? No. Five curves. No. Canada's worst drivers are showing us how well they can back up on a course we call the longest reverse in the world. Slow down, slow down. And Travis is up next. How much reversing did you do before coming to rehab, Travis? Almost none. It actually terrified him. Travis's wife, April, nominated him as Canada's worst driver. And look at him now. I am so freaking proud right now. Oh, well, too much steering. Yeah, I went over too much. That was my fault. Damn it. Travis had a learner's permit for 17 years. I've had my license for two weeks. Six months ago, he applied to be on Canada's worst driver. Uh, I'm flustered now. But we reminded him 
that he needs a valid driver's license to be on our show. Can't do this. Too incompetent. So, Travis booked a driver's license test and somehow passed. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. Now, Travis isn't being rehabilitated. He's being taught from scratch. Oh my god, that was awesome! Rehab is working wonders for Travis. I always let the, the voice that told me I was wrong, that I was stupid, kind of control me a bit too much. Yes. And now my time here has shut that up. Adam is probably the best driver still in rehab. Okay, we're almost through the rims. That's Pat, Adam's father. We are through the rims, yay! Adam used to drive all over his hometown. But then, an incident spooked him so much. I was going around that corner there, and I lost control with the ice. Adam practically stopped driving altogether. The only places I really drive now is to and from work, which is maybe about five minutes, not far from home. In rehab, nah. Adam's confidence is slowly but surely returning. Go, 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 Time to go, 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 go. Completing this course, Adam only hit one thing. Whoa, oh, oh, ah. yes. Holy. <laughs> Shane, who uncharacteristically laughed a lot last episode, is next. Can I make an observation? You see, you talk faster, and you seem to even be thinking faster than when you showed up. Look, Shanna's nodding. Changing his life, not just his driving. Shanna is Shane's sister. Shane's different. Before rehab, Shane was an angry curmudgeon who often went months without smiling. Now, <laughs> Shane seems to be enjoying life. You're a whole new guy. As a 13-year-old pedestrian... I try to avoid the highway. Shane was hit by a fast-moving car. Now... You're not paying attention. Shane hates driving fast. Um, I can't get over now. And you missed your turn. Back at the rehab center... That's it. Yeah, there's a big stop sign behind you. Oh. <laughs> Shane's laughing. And he just can't stop. I can't control it now. When we come back, oh, ah! it's our annual Water tank challenge. Why is it still going? I'm not moving! Sources tell me that pileup should be removed by Thursday. Breaking news now the results of our recent opinion poll are in. According to you, the most popular challenge on CWD is the one that involves teaching the bad drivers the importance of smooth pedal control. This challenge has a vehicle with 200 liters of water on its roof. And if the driver of said vehicle has footwork that is herky-jerky, shall we say, well, that water on the roof will shift erratically, thus teaching the bad driver how weight will transfer due to accelerating and braking. It's called the Water Tank Challenge. And past runnings of it have resulted in this. And this. And yes, this. It's time now for the 13th annual running of the Water Tank Challenge. And on the scene is Andrew Young Husband. Andrew? Thank you, Andrew. 
Uh, why don't we start this year by introducing you to the water tank vehicle for season 13, the Carcodile. The Carcodile is actually a 2006 Chrysler 300 with a tank of water on its roof. If that water gets sloshing, it will cascade through this hole as well as enter these tubes that will funnel the liquid onto the heads of the driver and passenger. I hate this challenge. I hate it. Ah. This year's water tank course begins with a long straightaway on which drivers must accelerate up to 60K an hour, then decelerate enough to make this turn. After that, well, I'll just show you when I get there. Oh, I'm just gonna ease into it. I haven't even touched the gas. I haven't even touched it. I have to start pressing it if I'm gonna get up to 60, though. 30, I'm almost at 40. That's 40. I gotta go faster. That's 50. That's 60 right there. I'm slowing down. I'm not even touching the brake. I'm just slowing down. Slow down, young husband. Slow down. Make that turn. Make that turn. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it this year. I'm gonna do it. Look at that. I went up to 60. And all the way, did I make it? Oh, yes. It's doable. Ha, ha, ha. It's doable. I have good pedal control. Now, precision steering. The precision steering section is actually easy, but... And if they're wet and freaking out, they might not drive this so well. From there, it's a short section of open road. Just because I've got space in front of me doesn't mean I'm suddenly going to go fast. Ah, shopping cart of death. I had a perfect run going. I'm full of water and shame. Ah, I hate me. Next is a turnaround corral. I have to enter going forward and leave going backwards. Achieving that takes just over two minutes. And I'm on the road to the finish, folks. The finish is a reverse slalom. Yep. On a fairly narrow road. Oh, am I going off the road? I'm going off the road. But I'm remaining calm and smooth on the pedals. Didn't freak me out. Didn't cost me any of my cargo. On this year's water tank course, I only dropped five liters. Adam accelerates smoothly up to 60. That's 60. But then he brakes too aggressively. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't supposed to hit those brakes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, I gotta stop. I can't see. Okay, slow down. Oh, oh you gotta go through that. Pedal control! Pedal control! No, 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 no! Car, car control, too! Corn sakes. Corn sakes? Uh, Adam, come on, buddy. Don't just go running over things! No, I'm trying. No, I... no! Adam, Adam, come on, buddy! I'm trying! In the turnaround section... No! Oh. Adam gets himself wedged. How do I fix that? After nine minutes of floundering, Adam is still wedged. Where? Adam takes 40 minutes on this course. Yeah, I, I feel like I wet my bed. Ashley doesn't exactly ease into the straightaway. If, if you make mistakes in your car, the police don't always catch you, but in this challenge, the laws of physics are strictly enforced immediately. That's ex-cop Cam Woolley, our legal expert here at the rehab center. Joining Cam and our head driving instructor, Tim, is our high speed driving expert, Philippe Letourneau, and our therapist, Shamala Kiru. 
Together, these experts watch every move the bad drivers make. At the end of each episode, they help me decide who should go home as a graduate. At the end of our series, they'll help me decide who should be named. Oh, God in heaven! Canada's worst driver. It's not even that bad! <gasps> oh, me! Oh, Ashley! I didn't mean to hit it. I know you didn't mean to. Okay. Now don't actually hit it. I gotta think about this. I gotta be focused. I gotta think. Jillian, hop out. Ashley relies on her passengers so much. I don't know what to do. That when she drives alone, she doesn't know how to think for herself. <gasps> After being in the turnaround corral for nine minutes, Ashley has made zero progress. God, I don't know what to do! Oh! So normally in this situation in your life, what happens? I would get out of the car. So tell me why we're not going to save you. Because I have to learn. Enjoy. Six long minutes later. So you're right back at the very, very beginning. Yep. Ashley still can't solve the puzzle. <laughs> but six minutes after that. Look, there's the S turn. Look, I'm turning. She gets it. <gasps> Ashley. Did you just think and then overcome a problem? Yeah. Is that what just happened? Do you want Jillian back now? No. <laughs> Ashley finishes by doing all the thinking herself. She needs to be able to figure it out on her own. So there's no way she's going to do that unless she's in the car by herself. This is true. I agree. Shane. Takes off with a jolt. Oh! Oh! Shane. 60. Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! For frick's sake! <laughs> In the precision steering section, Shane's steering is worse than his pedal control. Six. Oh. And his pedal control is atrocious. Shane's run was hideous. Right from the start. Pedal control at takeoff. I didn't hit anything. Well, Did you okay. see yourself in the rims? Travis is next. <laughs> Woo! That's cold. Oh, God, where are you at? You're at 60. Slow down. Slow down. Take your foot off. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> In the turnaround corral, Travis gets wedged and asks April to save him. So, April, why don't you hop out of the car hey. with me? This will be the first time he's ever driven alone, too. After 23 minutes of driving alone, Travis is back at the entrance. Travis, do you want the advice that's going to save you? Yes. We're not going to give it to you. All right. Let's leave. 
Let's let's all go away. Let's all go away. Let's cameras go away too. We'll all go back to Video Village and have a snack. Come on. You finished, Travis. <sighs> Look, there's Video Village. Look at everybody. Would you look at that? He's back at the beginning again. Didn't see that coming. Left all alone, Travis does get out after eight minutes. He's out. He's out! He's out! That's good. So he can problem solve. Travis suffered. I didn't give up, even though a few times I really wanted to. Melanie treats this challenge like a joke. <laughs> and she never really tries. <laughs> which is a waste of her time and ours. Because I can't do that and then Andrew decides to say, oh, whatever, I don't even know what he was saying, because I can't remember anything. It's not funny. I'm serious. I'm like, I swear there's something, like. When we come back. Let go to gas a little bit one way. Or the other way now. Canada's worst drivers are taught and tested on the art of a 180 degree reverse flip. What? I backed up straight! There are certain things we do here on Canada's Worst Driver that make folks at home go, why would they teach them that? And this next challenge is one of them. So, why would we teach our drivers to back up at 40 kilometers an hour and then do a spin-out that would be illegal to perform in public? Well, let me tell you. We teach it to impart the skill of precise high-speed reversing. We teach it to remind them the importance of pedal control, looking where you want to go, and remaining calm at all times. We teach it to build their confidence. Yes, we do. That's totally cool. The maneuver is called the reverse flick. And Philippe Letourneau is teaching it to Canada's worst drivers right now. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not doing that. Yes, you will. Who do that, drivers must reverse 35 to 40 kilometers an hour, then they must abruptly release the gas pedal before turning slightly one way, then hard the other way. If we're going backward and I let go of the gas pedal, where does the weight of the vehicle shift? To the front? The front. Forward? Backward? just took a guess. It goes in the back. back okay. Abruptly releasing the gas pedal slows the car down. That pushes the vehicle's weight towards its back. So the reason why I let go of the gas is because I need to have some weight on the back wheels to get the front wheels lighter. Once the car's front end is a little lighter and Philippe steers slightly one way, the car's suspension becomes like a coiled spring. Let go to gas a little bit one way, hard the other way. Wow. Steering hard the other way releases that coiled spring's energy with such force, a spin out occurs. He let go to gas. A little bit one way and hard the other way. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Doing that. Look here. Doesn't come naturally to Canada's worst drivers. Uh, Let go to gas, one way, hard the other way, hard, hard, hard. Uh, no braking. The maneuver simply won't work if you hit the brake or if you stay on the gas. What's the first step once you've reached 40? 
Off gas. Yes, you forgot. Okay. So you kind of turn the car uh -huh. with the gas on, oh, okay. so you're guiding the car. Go back to the start. But the most common mistake... Oh, what did I do there? I oversteered. ...is oversteering on the first turn. I did it again. I went too far. Just remember, you, you have to do quarter turn only. A little bit. And no one is more prone to oversteering... Let go to gas. ...than Travis. No! Speed is good. Let go. In attempt after attempt... Off. Travis oversteers. Great, great, great. Let go. And oversteers violently. Too far and too long. No, not that time. So what did you do wrong? I was spent too long on there my first. Go. And look where we end up. Yep. Just go slow, like just one beat, okay. then hard. Okay. It takes a while. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. But eventually... Go to gas. Bingo. <laughs> Let's go to gas. All of Canada's worst drivers... ...learn this tricky maneuver. There we go, perfect. And they do it multiple times. Let go to gas, a little bit one way, hard the other way. Look, that's a perfect one. And yes. Let go to gas. A little bit one way, hard the other way. There we go. Perfectly lined up. Even Travis gets comfortable with it. Et voila. Yes, sir. Yeah. For the reverse flick challenge, drivers must pull the maneuver off in this confined space. And they must do it in this brand new muscle car that we paid $60,000 for just about three weeks ago. I'll show you how the challenge is done. Get going the right speed. Here we go, get lined up first. Punch it, get going fast enough. In the box, one way, the other way. Woo! Oh boy, I got a little bit close to the edge this year. Will Canada's worst drivers get close to the edge? Or will they steer through the wall? We're about to find out. Ashley is up first. Tell me why we would teach you this wacky, wacky driving technique, Ashley. So if by chance you do end up in a situation where you have to no. do a quick reverse 180, I know the skills how to do it. <sighs> it's like they're, they're Canada's worst interpreters of the obvious. Stop laughing! When would you ever need to do a f reverse 180? Maybe I'm gonna be a stone driver one day. Oh, dear In the lessons, Philippe recommended using the rear view mirror to make steering corrections. But Ashley's looking all over the place. Oh my God! If you're not looking where you want to go, how can you make those corrections? Right. Drivers will get three chances to pass this challenge. I'm backing straight, backing straight. My speed is at 40. What? I backed up straight! Here she comes, her third and final chance. Ashley thinks that failing means she's stupid. You're not stupid, you're not an idiot, okay? You're someone with poor driving skills, and we can fix that. We cannot fix stupid. Melanie's highway drive with Tim was the most important thing she's done in rehab so far, but... I really hated it. We taught Melanie highway driving because that's what she needs. We also taught her reverse 180. Can she do that? Did you remind yourself of the steps before you went? A little bit, yes. A little bit? Yeah. Really remind yourself of the steps. This is a complicated piece of stunt driving. 
If you just back up and hope that it all falls into place, you're going to fail every time. This is really important. If you're a bad driver, think about what you're doing before you leave the house. This time, instead of looking, Melanie wants Christina to tell her when to do the maneuver. But Christina gets it wrong. Okay, you're in the opener. On her third and final attempt, Melanie doesn't go close to fast enough. Too soon again. Can't do it. Melanie has only passed one challenge in rehab so far. But I think I'm, I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere. When we come back. That was not what was planned. The rest of Canada's worst drivers attempt the reverse flick. Canada's worst drivers have learned how to do a reverse 180 degree spin out. Look, that's a perfect one. Now, they're attempting to pull that maneuver off on our challenge course. And Adam is up next. Can he do this? He can't do it if he doesn't look where he wants to go. Why is he looking inside the car? When you're looking where you want to go on this challenge, where is that? It's back there. Yeah, yeah. What did you learn to do in the lesson? To stare at the rearview mirror. Maybe what Philippe taught him to do is what he should do. Just, you know, maybe. Let me know if I'm overacting this. Maybe? Just... Maybe. Just maybe. Side mirrors can also work. Will they work for Adam this time? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, that's a pass. Who are you? <laughs> he's a man. I'm not who I was when I came here, that's for sure. No, he's not. On Shane's first attempt, he steers with one hand while staring at the speedometer. Nope. People can accurately estimate their own speed. Even a child can tell you if a car is going fast or slow. So these people that are over relying on the speedometer, that's a big mistake. Shane's second attempt is worse. That was not what was planned. Success! That's the plan! No, 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 no. Shane thinks he knows why he didn't succeed. The mirrors are up. Travis only got his driver's license six weeks ago. And now he's about to do this. <laughs> Can you believe they gave him a license? I wasn't looking where I wanted to go. Were you not? No, I wasn't. Where not. were you looking? I was looking at the barriers. Here's Travis's second attempt. Travis checks his speed and... Damn it, I did it again. He might have done it again. But he also did something we've never seen before.
So that happened. So there is good news. Mm -hmm. I was worried that the bumper was going to fall off, but it's been pinned in place. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Wow. That's, I mean, it would be good if it was, you know, an attacking vampire. But, uh, it's, um, it's our rear bumper. It's called a bumper. It's because they're good for bumping. 5K an hour, that's max. That's what a bumper can tolerate. It cannot tolerate this. When Travis got his driver's license, he didn't have to reverse at all. I'll get it eventually. Will you? Yeah. When we come back... Do you want to graduate this episode? No. Canada's worst drivers talk with our experts. You are this episode's graduate. It's time for me and the experts to decide who this episode's graduate will be. You and your sister both said that you've changed as a person. I'm not an anymore. Were you an I was the And you've dropped that? Why? Why be happy when you feel everything bad is going to happen? Not that good things are happening. It's uh, different. Yeah. To see your personality come out is amazing. Shane doesn't want to graduate. When we began this series, we thought we'd simply be graduating better drivers. But we're graduating better people. I'm a completely different person. Um, I, think, I think I'm a totally different person when I walked in the door here two weeks ago. Do you want to graduate this episode? I think I still need a little bit more. We'll no work on epi after episode five. We're graduating better people when we can, but no one wants to graduate. I want to stick around. I do not want to graduate. Does Melanie want to? No. No one wants to go home. But someone's got to graduate. Tim, who is it? I, I would have to say Adam. Channel? Yeah, I think Adam's the best driver. Philippe? Uh, for me in this episode, there's nobody else but Adam. Cam? He's ready. All right. I'll go do the obvious then. Obviously, the experts say that this episode's graduate will be... It's you, Adam. Me? You! What? Yes, they all agreed. You drove the best in the challenges, and Tim says you drive the best in public. So, it's my job, where is it? It's my job... Get out, no way. To give you your license back <laughs> and proudly tell you that you are this episode's grand. Really? Yeah, really. What? What? <laughs> but I'm not gonna give you your license back. Oh, you're not? No, I'm not. Oh. You said you didn't want to graduate. Right. So, why would we graduate someone who doesn't want to graduate? Right. Fall back in line, my friend. Okay. <laughs> All right? This episode's graduate is, in fact, no one. Will any of them ever graduate? Or will all five of these people share the unwanted title, Canada's worst driver? On the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver, the nominees are dropped into Canada's worst parking lot. Ah! They learn how to reverse a trailer. How was that? And things go sideways during the handbrake J-turn challenge.
I feel like I wet my face.